What is up guys? It is your boy MC Rules here back for another Hero Cantare video. And it's been a while since I've uploaded, so I decided I'm just gonna make a general maintenance update video. Maintenance maintenance just dropped uh maintenance info just came out a few minutes ago. Uh, and I haven't looked at it yet, so I may as well scroll through it on video, yeah? So uh this maintenance, as all of you probably know, is one day late. They did announce that it was going to be a day late. Uh, when was it? Three days ago? So the next maintenance is six days from now instead of seven days from now. So they're just going back to their normal schedule. So uh, this maintenance. Oh, okay. So we've got a new costume for Iraq, which is cool. I wonder if that... Uh, yeah, so this is a perch, like a you know, purchase costume, like you spend money for it. Unlike Endorsies, which you could spend gems, and if you had gems, you were able to buy it. This one, you have to use the costume coins, which is, you know, you can't get those for free. Ooh, we have a new, wait, like a new EE. Uh, two chain skill extends to one opponent's two, two turns. Ooh, okay. Two turn, two chain still extends one opponent. Okay, so that's SS. So that's C with 30%, with 90% probability. Yeah, these exclusive equipments, they're always really, really OP. Like, <laughs> exclusive equipments, like, they could, like, change a character's strength completely. This is a extends to two turns with 90% probability at SS. Yeah. Yeah. So the pickup cube obviously has Urek on it and Charlotte. Which is, um, whoa, so yeah, it also gives a lot of HP there. That's a really, really good exclusive equipment. This is not a really, really good banner. <laughs> this. This is a skip banner for me. For me, personally, so uh, if you saw my last videos, I was summoning for Queen No Name. I finished my Queen No Name summons, I concluded them recently. I'll show you the outcome of those in another video. I'll talk about that later. This banner looks like pretty much a definite skip for me because I have Charlotte already and I'm really not looking to pull any more Charlottes. I made a video a while back on Charlotte actually, which was not a great video, but my stance on Charlotte still hasn't changed. Like I don't really have any need for investing in Charlotte. And then there's Urek here who I don't have, but like I'm not really gonna summon for him. If you don't have Urek, and you've been like saving up essence like if you really really like Urek as a character then yeah sure go for it but like you know I probably wouldn't recommend like going nuts for this guy like me personally I'm waiting for the next banner that King Dark is on because I haven't like had an opportunity to I never summoned on King Dark's like original banner because I didn't have any essence at the time so when King Dark comes back that's pretty much the banner that I'm looking for to summon on next and if you don't have like a core character like King Dark or like C, like uh, Crusade Mira, Queen No Name or someone like that, I'd recommend saving your essence and summoning on those banners. Obviously Queen No Name's banner is out now and she's not going to be coming back for a while after this one. But I recommend summoning on those banners like rather than a banner like this because you know. Uh, Urek is, you know, he's a great hero. Uh, but like, you know, you probably would want to spend all your essence on trying to pull the wreck when there's obviously also the chance that you could pull Charlotte. You know, yeah, I just, I probably just wouldn't. We've got some extra activity event. Ah, so it's this thing again. That's cool, actually. You know, getting 350 points in a day. Hmm. I actually found it pretty difficult sometimes because what? To do that, I mostly just play like, what, Advent Boss, that's pretty much the only thing that I get. So I'll get this for the free summon, this from Advent Boss, 25 of these. So I mean, you know, it's doable every day, but you know, I didn't generally hit the 350 every day. They should have dropped this when Season 1 first launched, that probably would have made more sense because then everyone is, you know, 
clearing out the stories and then they would also be clearing out hard story getting out their uh getting out their points i haven't personally cleared hard story i'm actually not that far at all i think i played to like chapter two so i could probably actually get my 350 daily but you know, it's just nice to get some extra stuff. There's some shards here. I'm, you know, going to be picking chaos shards. That's an SS box. And I'm not sure what type of equipment that is. Is that crit hit set? I don't know. But that's good. Just more extra stuff that you can get, which isn't bad. So then, obviously, here are the missions. Just your standard missions. Same ones as last time. Daily achievement level rewards. Ah, oh, right, right, right. It's just this is just all for the the extra missions, and then we've got the finished events. We've got a uh, heavenly warlord. We've got uh, this pickup cube ending, and then we've got this lucky draw thing here. I actually don't know. Like, I think technically the best thing that I got from this lucky draw thing was like the S relic, the new one of the new summer relics. Which I guess that's technically the best thing that I got, but you know it wasn't like. Uh, free coins, I guess, mostly. Mostly I just got free coins. All the tickets I got, I spent on coins. So maybe I got, like, what? Three, four million coins out of this, which isn't bad. But, like, I don't know. Did people pull, like, like summoning, like, SS relic packs from this? Like, how did you guys go on this lucky draw thing? Personally, it was, it was meh to me. Like, it's a cool event, but it was, like, meh. Just more RNG, right? And then bug fixes. The bug that some relics enhanced in a certain type. Uh, give the same opponent. <laughs> give the same buffs to opponents. This. <laughs> this is a terrible bug. Like. Imagine having a relic and then it also buffs your enemy as well. Yeah. So then we've got Sujin Lee's here. Like notably Sujin Lee. Valkyries. Some of the noblesse ones. We've got Mira's one. So, yeah, good to see that they've picked that up and they've changed that. Uh, but other than that, that seems to be really it for this maintenance. There's nothing too incredibly exciting. Obviously, you know, if you're an Urek fan or if you have Urek, you've got the new skin. You've got his EE, which will actually make him really good because um, passive power seal. For anyone who's played 1825 in the new season, like uh, season one, like level 1825 will know that this passive power seal <laughs> this passive power seal imagine if 1825 had that passive power seal for two turns imagine how annoying that would be because it's already hard enough to deal with as is like i suspect that that'll be pretty good pretty good for a pvp pretty good i say uh but yeah let me know what you think of this maintenance let me know what you think of this urex skin personally i think it looks pretty cool if that's the skin but yeah, uh, that's pretty much all I wanted to go through today. If you found this video helpful, consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel. And I will see you in the next one. Peace.